Hey guys, so welcome to this video where we will be making a Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius temperature converter. Um, not too much coding involved, so it's something that um, even a novice of Visual Basic can do. Um, and it's um, fully functional um, and actually does something cool and useful. So an, an interesting thing to learn. Um, so we just go to our start menu. Uh, and we open up Visual Basic. Now you can get the Express version or the Professional version. Um, 2008, 2010, and 2012 versions. Um, it should all be pretty standard across the board. This should work on free, paid, whatever. Um, I'm using 2010 Express, which is the free edition of the um, 2010 version. So um, for this tutorial, um, then we go New Project. Uh, Windows form application and we're going to call this simple temperature converter and you go OK and that'll take a second to load up and that opens up our solution here form 1 um, so okay um, let's change the size of our form here just so it fits um, the content we're going to put in it. It's going to be like a simple, small windowed application, nothing major, just a couple text boxes and, um, you know, a couple text boxes and uh, a button. So not, not much. Then we're going to go down to our properties tab here, uh, change the text from form one to um, whatever you want, really. Simple temperature converter. Uh, we'll do for this and as you can see up here on the um, window on our form okay the title changes to simple temperature converter um, we then want to grab from our toolbox um, a couple text boxes we want one two would be good um, we want a button if I can find that um, and uh, probably two labels as well uh, and we're going to put our button down here and we're going to just change the text on that again in our properties area to uh, convert um, and that'll be the the call to action I guess you could call it so you press it and it does the converting yeah um, that's what's going to allow our program to function um, we then have our first text box here um, We'll add that there, and we'll add a label, um, let's add the another label there, sorry, I just double clicked, uh, and then we shall add our final text box, hmm, there, I'll just get the positioning right. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. Okay, we could actually bring this button up a bit. Um, so, okay, label two. We're just going to change the text of that again in our properties tab to Celsius. Uh, actually, no, let's go Fahrenheit. Okay, into there, um, and that changes it to Fahrenheit. Um, lab second, no, next label here is Celsius changes it to Celsius. Um, so we have our Fahrenheit value and our Celsius value. Um, let's get another label. Um, add that sort of in the middle there. And change that label 3 to an equal sign. Um, and we can um, make that a bit larger um, just so it mm, stands out a bit more. Um, and to do that we go to our property section like we did when we changed the text. Uh, we scroll up here, we go to font, uh, we just click this little button there, and we can change the font, the font style, and the font size in this panel. Um, so let's try 14. Yes, that's great. 14 is, don't, try not to double click as well. So if you click, um, double click it, it accesses the code of our form. Um, so here's our rough design, okay? That's step one. Um, what we then want to do is we just want to double 
click on the convert button uh, and basically you in on yours you'll just see this right? basically because I accidentally double clicked on different areas so but on yours it'll look like this okay and it says here private sub for button one click so all the code we put in this section will be initiated when button one is clicked uh, so when button one is clicked we want to get our Fahrenheit value uh, which is stored in text box 2 and convert it into Celsius so this is what we do the formula is uh, open bracket um, text box 2 dot value minus 32 close bracket um, times uh, or multiplied by 5 over 9 um, and that's it okay that's our formula and this is basically math general mathematics so um, whatever's entered into text box 2 um, we we have stored in this this value here we then subtract 32 from that uh, and that happens first we then times the answer by 5 over 9 uh, and that'll get our degree Celsius um, to output the degree Celsius into the, our second um, text box we want to set the value of text box 1 um, to that equation there so the value of text box 1 will be set to you know that equation the or the answer to that equation okay um, let's go run and there will build errors uh, no okay major problem value isn't value it we change it to text sorry um, I've been coding in like visual basic 6 for the last couple days and um, in that you would use value in the new versions of visual basic it's dot text so we get go run again um, and we get our, our box here um, so we type in 30 degrees Fahrenheit we press convert and we get a big number here minus 1.11111 degrees Celsius uh, and that's going to be a problem for us um, because we want it to um, display a whole number right just for ease of use so what we're going to do is we're going to have our answer as an integer um, so text box one dot text will equal the integer of that formula let's go play again and let's type in 30 degrees Fahrenheit equals minus 2 degrees Celsius um, because it rounds it to the nearest whole number if we get um, 150 degrees Fahrenheit convert we get 65 degrees Celsius um, now what if you want to go the other way um, good question it's not too hard to arrange that but that's going to be for another tutorial uh, another video at another time um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you did please comment like rate and subscribe again in my next video I'm going to show you how to go um, from Celsius back to Fahrenheit again um, using this code here um, as our base so don't worry this isn't for nothing um, what we've just done today um, because next time I will assume that you have done all this already and will ba basically just be extending this this very application to go both ways um, so I'm just going to save it uh, again please comment like rate and subscribe